guys, Sasha here from The Little Dog Retreat, owner and creator of The Little Dog Retreat and TheLittleDogRetreat.com. Welcome back. Today is a Q&A day, and so I like to take questions that I've been asked by either my clients who have been coming uh, for drop-off pickup <clears throat> or uh, questions I've been asked online, and uh, kind of if they're applicable to everyone, I like to answer them in a video. So today's question is, how do I prepare my animal or my pet for a solar eclipse, which is coming up in uh, about 24 to 30 hours, depending upon where you are in the world. And so the United States, we're in Washington state, we won't be getting a full solar eclipse in our direct location. We'll be getting a little bit of a sun peek through, but I am here today to tell you what you can do to prepare your animal or prepare your uh, pet to keep them safe during the solar eclipse and what you might kind of expect uh, in their behavior during a solar eclipse. So. Number one, first and foremost, uh, the solar eclipse with the uh, with the moon going in front of the sun, you know, you're gonna have some gravitational changes. Now, gravitational changes, uh, they're gonna be very almost a nuance for humans because we're uh, visual people and because we are distracted by many other things, we're not gonna feel them. We're probably not going to notice them. If you are uh, really into uh, earthing or grounding, you know, you might be able to sense a change slightly. You might just have a little bit more of a headache or you might have um, a little bit of a funny feeling. But for the most part, humans are not going to really sense any kind of alteration. However, animals in general are a little bit more adept to those kind of slight alterations. So starting the day before into the actual solar eclipse, there will be slightest, the slightest variations of, of gravitational pull. Now this again, this is almost a nuance. Now when you look at the science behind it, realistically it shouldn't have that much effect on your dog or your cat, but uh, just like any other situation, you might want to just keep your pets indoors. So what does this mean for your dog or your cat or your rabbit or your bird? If you have a cat, try to keep them inside that day. Uh, cats do tend to wander off during things like uh, with gravitational changes. Dogs will have actually hop fences or dig underneath fences. Um, if you have a bunny, they might try to be burrowing if they're out in a grassy area. And then um, if you have a bird, they might just act a little bit weird and, and try to nest. Um, now for uh, scheduling purposes, your animal's schedule will probably be thrown off at least about a half day. So starting with the solar eclipse, now we're in Washington state, so ours is gonna happen early for us, around 9.30 to about 11.30. So your morning routine uh, in our area, or look at the area that you're actually in, your feeding schedule's probably gonna be thrown off. So animals, when it gets dark, they go with more of the, the uh, the clock that they look at is more kind of the sun moon uh, environmental factor clock so when they start to get up and they have their day and then all of a sudden things start to adjust a little bit they may not want to eat they may be uh, more finicky with their food they may actually go ahead and try to hide instead of instead of being social or hanging out they may whimper they might show more signs of anxiety that's totally normal that's totally okay now their sleep patterns when the actual solar cups happens most animals when it goes dark will naturally try, try to find a spot to sleep so even though they just got up many of your animals will go and try to find little burrows or little nooks or little little beds to go and sleep because they'll think it's bedtime what does that mean for you make sure your dog is in a safe environment so that they can't hide anywhere weird that you can't find them try to keep your cat indoors because crossing streets going around uh, vehicles might interfere with their with their um, with their directional of you know what's going on I guess I've got to go home it's, it's bedtime or I'm gonna come out and hunt because it's it's nighttime another thing is your birds may stop chirping and they may got a little bit weird and flighty or try to find a little spot to nest. Bunnies will also try to do little burrows and things like that. So just kind of be aware of your pet, their personality, and any changes they might be going through. Make sure that they're in a calm, safe space. The next thing is just the confusion. Now, people get really excited about things like this, and so your behavior is going to help determine your pup or your pet's behavior. So. If you are super excited and you're getting ready, let's say you're doing party stuff, or you're doing taking the day off, you're doing extra planning, or you're gonna go visit the solar eclipse in a spot where you can see it better. If you're doing any kind of packing, 
if you're doing any kind of uh, travel prep, your pup or your pet is going to sense that and also see it. And those changes by themselves are going to send them kind of in a, uh, a weird state where they might get to get more anxious, they might become uh, more needy, they might be, become more vocal, um, or they might try to hide. So just be aware of that. Now, if you are bringing your pet with you, per se a dog, and you are traveling to a solar eclipse area, be super, super cautious when you are there. Because of the solar eclipse <clears throat> is uh, a neat experience that we don't get to see very often, people, humans, will get overly excited and a little bit weird, and that might make their judgment and their behavior strange, which, al which also can put your pup in a, in a compromising situation. So make sure you have leashes, collars, a backup leash uh, just in case. Make sure you bring enough food and water for you and your pet. Make sure you are keeping them safe. If you're starting to get distracted, make sure your, your pet is definitely close to you and not open and running around because people will be paying attention to the sky and not what's around them. So definitely be aware of that. <clears throat> the last thing I would say is also try to keep your cat indoors just because any other holiday like a Halloween holiday or a New Year's holiday, people sometimes do strange behavior. Um, some people will get more aggressive towards animals. Um, some people can just try to play tricks on animals. You know, it sucks, but just keep your pet indoors and away from any of that possibility. And then also make sure they have plenty of food and water wherever you're gonna stick them, if it's gonna be in a bedroom or a little den space or in you know, a laundry room, wherever they normally would go if you're gonna be out of the house, make sure they've got plenty of food and water just in case your trip gets delayed. So traffic will be high, so you wanna make sure that if you're going for a day trip that they have plenty of food and water to keep them, to keep them hydrated and keep them fed during your, your uh, day vacation or, or wherever you may be going during the day. That is my, uh, basically, my rundown of tips and suggestions of what your dog might do or your pet might do during a solar eclipse. If you have any questions, put the comments below. As always, I would love to hear your questions. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy it. It should be, it should be pretty awesome, so I'm excited to see it too. If you have any pictures of your pets enjoying any kind of solar eclipse party, definitely put those pictures below. We would love to see those. We will be doing a little party for the, for the guests that we have here, so we'll be posting those on both our Instagram. Instagram and our YouTube and our Facebook channel. So check those out and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.